If young Metro don't trust you, I'm gon' shoot you Beautiful morning, yeah, the sun of my morning, babe Yo, <coughs> back in my room It's a long time, it's been a long time since I've been in my room uh, on a video. Today's video is about a man that has a bit too much power for my liking considering the fact he's literally a chef but he's actually controlling the country without anybody actually taking any notice. Did you realise recently the... Uh, actually I'll get onto that later. The, the main point, you always leave your best point last. And I'll leave it last because it's the one that irritates me the most. Now this video is going to be kind of short because I'll be lying if I say I've got a lot of things to talk about with this man. I've only got three things to talk about that he's done. But they're three things horrible nonetheless. Let's get started with no further ado. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And uh, let's get started. Pretty much, you've seen the title of the video, you've seen the thumbnail. Today's video, we're talking about the twat that is Jamie Oliver. That man has recently done something that I didn't think could ever happen and there's a, a serial that I feel or thought yo you can't possibly ruin this it's a pen serial there's no way anyone can ruin this I love this serial this oh I love it but somebody did and that somebody is Jamie Oliver but we'll, as I said we'll get on to that last that is my best point now he did a couple of things before the age of snap Instagram and that and you know those posts that you see about things like just voicing an opinion on a white background um, People will say all sorts of stuff <clears throat> I've seen loads of things about people saying Complaining that Jamie Oliver ruined school meals And I never clocked because what when I was in year 6 We didn't really like Our school meals were literally the same every day like no, no one complained The worst that ever happened was I found a lump of blue in one of my yogurts I felt sick, threw it in the bin Problem gone um, But nah it was brought to my attention uh, a while ago that Jamie Oliver had been changing school dinners for a very long time and school dinners used to be paying before this man got his got his nose stuck in it and got involved in something I didn't need him to be involved in uh, school dinners used to be very very nice but now Jamie Oliver's like oh no it's unhealthy uh, kids shouldn't be eating junk food like that. Uh, let's change the school meals. Okay. So he's done that. School meals are dead. Thanks to that man. Now, uh, my current school, my secondary. Oh, oh. I don't even eat food that often at lunch because it's just nasty, man. It's nasty. The chicken burgers, the buns are dry. Like, dry. Um, the pizza, minimum effort put into the pizza, like, it's just not nice, man, it's not nice. Um, and the second thing that that man had the audacity to ruin, fizzy drinks. And the one he really clotted, Lucasaid. Lucasaid's a different drink now, Lucasaid used to be some nice drink. I used to like some Lucasaid at Power League, I remember. The vending machines when you walk in. But Jamie Oliver, again, got involved for no apparent reason, gone. Lucasaid, the, the niceness of that plain, normal, orange Lucasaid, gone. Effects of that man, he sugar taxed it. I'm sure you've heard that phrase, sugar tax. He limits the amount of sugar you're allowed in products and that, for no apparent reason. <laughs> I even saw a post last night uh, um, that <laughs> he's trying to ban all fizzy drinks being sold to kids. And I think it was in America. But still, imagine they're banning children from fizzy drinks. There's so many problems in this world. Donald Trump is president, as I said again. All sorts of things. The KKK, EDL, Britain first. What do they ban? Fizzy drinks. Okay. Anyway. Furthermore. And you know what? Furthermore. And this is the one that, I said it's going to be a short video. This is the one that I refuse to tolerate because I tried it for the first time this morning with extra sugar just to try and balance it to the cereal I know and love and it's not the same, it's not the same I will just describe the cereal and I'll say the name after but you'll understand what I'm talking about that beautiful cereal the moment it touches the milk the milk changes colour <laughs> like a, like some chameleon 
you will fill up your whole bowl of this cereal eat up only the cereal and there's still milk left so what do you do you go and add more until there's no milk left even if there's cereal with no milk that's how you eat it even if at like, the very end of your breakfast <laughs> regardless you can't eat just one load of this cereal at a time you have to keep refilling it to get the most out of it. otherwise you're not eating it properly short and simple you're not eating it properly um nice and chocolatey compared to rice krispies but with chocolate instead it's beautiful lots of sugar chocolate cocoa pops 30 percent less sugar are you mad are you a crackhead jamie oliver 30 percent less sugar in cocoa pops That's like Ronaldo or Messi scoring 30 less goals a season. They're just an average player. They just they go from being Ronaldo and Messi to being Mo Salah. They're just average. Like, or oh, you smack it. You walk away. You clock that was ticking in my home. Change my thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. You can't be serious. The sun's come out, so I'm gonna have to move a bit. You can't be serious. Uh, I've seen the advert. Everyone knows that that um, that crocodile on the Coco Pops adverts. I saw one of the Coco Pops adverts this week, <coughs> and they literally they show a flash of thirty percent sugar on the screen. It literally flashes past. You can barely see it because even they know they're taking a nasty L with this. Nobody could compete with Coco Pops before. Undisputed king of the breakfast cereal. 30% the sugar. That's like going to school. Going to a school that doesn't do PE. Why? Makes no sense. Everybody liked as it was before. Why are you changing it up? That's all I really had to say about Jamie Oliver. Um, he ruined my favourite cereal. Don't know how to feel about that. Really don't know how to feel about that. First things first, man got chef by no. Don't have to feel about that. I had this new cocoa pops for the first time this morning and I had to add sugar in cocoa pops. That oh my gosh. It's like adding sugar to frosties, even though you can literally see the sugar on each individual flake. You're asking for diabetes type 2. It's just a crackered thing to do. But you have to do that literally. Only advice I can give to anyone who's dumb enough to try it. Literally, don't buy Cocoa Pops. That's what I'm saying. Do not go and buy Cocoa Pops, man. My mum bought it for the last time last week. I told her, yo, please, we need to stop buying it. It's not the Cocoa Pops we know and love. It's some crackhead cereal. We're not eating it again. And legit, if she hadn't told me to add sugar to it, I don't think I would have had another grain of Cocoa Pops touch my taste buds ever again. Literally, I might. Maybe I'm over deep in it, but. I don't think I am. Jamie Oliver, you've ruined Cocoa Pops, you've ruined school dinners, and you've ruined fizzy drinks. How the hell can you ruin all them free? Crackered. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. It's a bit of a weird video, I don't really do this that often. Thank you for watching it regardless. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's try hit 350 by Christmas. Um, yeah, I'll be back again soon. Sure, actually, no, wait. I've been receiving a lot of um, positive um, feedback from my last video and it means a lot and even if it doesn't get 300, 400, 500 views like some of the other videos have, um, the whole point of that video was that it was seen by the people that needed to see it. So knowing that a lot of you have actually um, texted me back saying, oh, your video actually, it's helped me so much, like, legit, it means so much, but that's what I was trying to do, so yeah, thank you if it has... Um, if it has helped you, I, um, I feel honoured, literally I feel honoured, because that's what I was trying to do, so yeah. <laughs> and I hope if you are going for any of that, you can talk to the right person. I hope my videos make you laugh, so for the 10 minutes you watch them, just takes all the troubles off of your mind, and puts you in a different universe where your troubles don't exist, just for that short, even if it is a short amount of time, I hope I do my best to make you happy. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll be back soon, shortly.